The point of this video is when I was making the T nut to go in here, my little Atlas lathe developed some problems. To make this 90, I needed the little Atlas lathe. Cut this out. Let's go over the Atlas and I'll show you the problem I got with it. Watch this thing turn here. And that's on my lowest setting. Um, this is the problem gear. Um, as you can see right there on top, that tooth just folded over. And you can see right in here that that metal is actually cracked. Well, I might have gotten lucky. Um, I was trying to figure out how to stop the spindle at a designated spot. I said, there is no way this ring gear will work. But it's got 96 teeth, as I can count. And the little gear is 16. So that figures out correctly, near as I can tell. So I got my uh, profile ground in there in the uh, cutter uh, tool bit. So I'll see if we make this work. Got the lathe unplugged. Um, just made this little deal. There was actually uh, a couple holes here already in this housing. Um, so I just bolted this angle iron, this piece of strap iron on there, ground the strap iron so it fits into the teeth. Um, so let's give it a whirl and see if this uh, cutter works. See if I'm anywhere close to something that will produce a gear here. That's a good line and that is at 12 on the dial. So I might have been, let's see how much I can go at once, that's too much. Oh, that's still okay. I don't know what I can go. Can I go ten thousandths? Ah, that's awful hard to push by hand. Ooh. Yeah, that's gonna be a bit much. All right, so let's back her off to five. Oh, it's still gouging. That move my boring bar then. Is that thing moving on me? That feels tight. break it off. There we go. Alright, do a little rubbing. I'll figure out how to use this thing yet. You can't, you can't take off much by hand, can you? That boring bar flexing, even just that depth. Uh, yep. That transition, you know, hitting the shoulder, seemed to really give it fits. So, a little trouble there. Um, also, I had sharpened this rake angle. Can you see that? Yeah. 
That's right angle. I'd start being a little too steep. So I end up turning my boring bar in. Instead of being instead of having the boring bar parallel to the work, it's kicked in a little bit. Um, helped a lot because it seemed like when I was cutting earlier it was pulling it in. It's a little bit of work. It's not bad actually. And this method too, um, I think it's Claudio Grassi. If I remember right. Um, I'll put the text in the video here. Um, does this. Um, I really like his videos. Um, he's actually the one that gave me the courage to try this because uh, watching his videos I thought man if he can cut those gears and especially as many as he did uh, I can do a couple. Right? Uh, so then I go one, two, three, four, five, and six. That feels pretty much like zero. <sighs> Go in a few thousands. A few thousands more. And another thing that helps is a ton of oil. That makes life so much easier. Ten thousands. There we go. Hopefully, it's starting to look like a gear. profile wasn't perfect on them teeth but it's darn close I think it'll run just fine Side on. Oh, this side's just looking horrible now. But it's. I can't believe how soft this gear is. I am just completely astounded by that. I really thought it'd be some hardened thing, but it is just. just as weak as can be. Well, the lathe is working. And just to clarify, that gear was for E here, which is the lowest range. There we go. Absolutely no skipping that whatsoever. Sounds good. I'm very happy. 